What up, everybody? This is D Ward, you know, coming at you live from my uh, condo in New Jersey. Um, first off, I want to thank everybody for for uh, being a part of this Yard Barker uh, blog spot and dward34.com. Check it out. Um, I just want to wish everybody a happy New Year's and you know, happy holidays. I hope every all your wishes and dreams come true this year. Um, you know, I'm getting ready to to uh, participate in this divisional playoff game against the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, it, it should be a, a, a good game to watch on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, we, we've had a great week of practice. Uh, everybody's back healthy, um, and we're, we're looking to, to uh, make this run again throughout the playoffs and hopefully on to the Super Bowl. Um, everything's, come, everything's coming together for us. Uh, we've, we've, we set goals at the beginning of the year, and uh, you know, we, we've accomplished two of them. We, we won the NFC East division. Uh, we got the number one seed in the NFC. And uh, now we're in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, uh, God willing, everything works out the way that we planned. And, you know, we'll, we'll be seeing everybody in Tampa Bay again. But uh, first things first, we got the Eagles coming up on Sunday. And, uh, you know, it, it'll be a tough game for us. But, you know, we, we've been in, in tough games before, especially throughout this year. Um, and uh, it, it'll just be a great game to watch, a great game to participate in, and a and a uh, uh, just a, a all around great uh, day of football for us. Derek, I know uh, you you did a great job of answering some of the fans' questions last week, but what what is the impact that you and Brandon both rushing for a thousand yards? What does that mean to you? Um, it it means it means a lot to me uh, to be able to rush for a thousand yards in the NFL. It's uh, it's it's hard <laughs> to say the least, and uh, to have two running backs on the same team to rush for a thousand yards is even uh, it's even more amazing because it, it's only been done uh, three other times by uh, a running back pair, and the last time that it was done was in 1985. I was five years old, so uh, to be able to have this thousand yard and and, and share it with my one of my best team, my, one of my best friends on the team, and Brandon Jacobs, I mean it, it's it's it pretty much puts the icing on the cake. Uh, we've uh, we've talked about it throughout the whole off season uh, about what we want to do, what we want to accomplish this year, and uh, everything's everything's coming together. Uh, we we've uh, we pretty much stayed healthy throughout the whole year, and uh, we're healthy going into this playoff game on Sunday, and uh, you know everything's coming together for us. Uh- is this – it seems like you just improved every year that you've been in the NFL. And obviously, you know, you've, you've had some unfortunate injuries. But, you know, what what does this mean for your career? Is this just the beginning of what we're about to see as fans? Um, yeah, I, I believe so. I mean, uh, I, I have to think like that because, <clears throat> like you said, I, I've had uh, some misfortunate injuries uh, the past couple of years. Uh I've been in the league for five years, and that's pre- that's a pretty long time for a running back. It may not seem like it, but you know, I think the NFL average for a running back is three years. So, for me to to be five years into a, a a league where, you know, if you get injured, you you get waived, and for me to still be here is just a, a testament of, uh, you know, my work ethic, uh, my my never quit um, uh, persona, and uh, you know, my my uh, will to to be the best that I can be, and uh, it, it's it's paying off for me right now, man. It's, it's it truly is. Uh, you know, I, I've had the doubters, I've I've had the naysayers, but you know, throughout all of that, I've I've stuck with my plan, and my plan was to you know be a be a force in the NFL, and I've I've uh, I've become that this year, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, I could get about five more years in and and be a force uh, for those next five to six, seven years. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll play till the wheels fall off. What 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 um what what's so intriguing about this Eagles team for this coming weekend? Um, they have great they have great leadership. I mean they they've got uh, great veteran uh, leaders on the team. Donovan McNabb, uh, you know, all pro quarterback. You know he he's playing lights out football right now, as is uh, Brian Westbrook on the offensive side. And then on the defensive side, you got the the veteran presence of uh, Brian Dawkins and. Uh, you know, great talent, great young talent, and you know, defensive ends and Trent Cole, and uh, you got Asante Samuel on the on the island out there, 
And uh, it, it's it's just uh, they they have a, they have a great team put together right now, and uh, everything just started to click for them about four or five weeks ago. And uh, they they've been showing people that they're a legit team, and uh, they're not playing like a six a six seed team. They're playing like a a number one seed team. So um, we'll have our hands full this week, this Sunday. But you know we, we're we're up for the challenge, and uh, we we'll be ready to play some football on Sunday. So what can the what, what what can the fans expect out of this game? I mean, it's a big rivalry. They came into your house and, and got you guys the last time. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, uh, it, it, what's what, what's the intensity been like at practice all week? Oh, it's, it's been up tempo, man. Like <laughs> from the coaches, from the front office to the coaches on down to the players. It's it's, been, it's just been nothing but uh, focus and uh, up tempo practices, uh, fast paced practice and. Uh, you know, we're, we're ready to go. We had a week off, you know. Uh, I went back home to L.A. for a little bit. You know, I worked on my tan. And uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a great feeling to be in the playoffs, um, first of all. You know, uh, what, 12 teams are in the playoffs, and it dwindles down each week. So you got to play your best ball. Um, single game elimination. Uh, nobody wants to go home. You know, uh, everybody's dreaming to win a Super Bowl, win a championship, and uh, you know we're we're one step closer to that again. Um, uh, so, you know, this week this week has been fantastic, uh, and we're 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 amped up, we're ready to go. We've we've had a week and a half off, and uh, it's time to play some football. hear you there you go oh okay here we go we back technical difficulties technical difficulties <laughs> but we still, gonna, we still gonna keep it pushing so mr war i just on behalf of all the fans i just want to thank you and i wanted to see you know say uh i wish we wish you the best of luck we just want to give you kind of the platform to send us off how you'd like um you know, I, I just want to thank you, all the fans, you know, throughout this whole, throughout my career, you guys have been great, man. Like, uh, you know, from coming from the Jets, boo, to the Giants back in 04, um, it's, it's just been a tremendous ride, and, and I've had uh, people stick with me the whole time, and, uh, you know, it, it's an honor to, to walk through the streets of New York and New Jersey and uh, be recognized for what I do on the field, and, and, and uh it's just a it's a dream come true. I've always thought about this since I was a little kid, and you know it's it's here. Um, so I, I just want to thank all my fans, you know, from 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 the West Coast to the East Coast. And, you know, thank you, thank you very much. Um, but uh, it's not over yet. We still got the Eagles on Sunday, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it'll be a terrific game. Uh, I, I guarantee it. Um, you know, I'm I'm gonna play my butt off. Uh, like it's the last game of the year because uh it, it it certainly could be the last game of the year but you know we'll, we'll do our thing uh we're the super bowl champs defending super bowl champs and super bowl comes through us so you know we'll, we'll be ready to go on sunday and uh you know it, it'll just be a a great atmosphere for football appreciate you